Do you ever have trouble deciding what to photograph in the night sky? Well, I think I have the answer. Each month, I'll give you a new astrophotography challenge. For instance, last month was the star cluster challenge, and the month before that, we all shot M81 and M82. If you're interested in participating in a group monthly challenge, all you have to do is support me over on patreon.com slash nebulaphotos. It starts at just $1 per month, and all tiers have access to these monthly imaging challenges, which are organized on the Nebula Photos Discord server. If you're new to Discord, I have a video I'm releasing concurrently with this one that I'll link below and right here that will show you how to get set up with Discord. Here's the way that the monthly challenges work. In the last week of each month, I put up a poll on Discord with four or five ideas for the next month's challenge. Everyone uh, who's a Patreon supporter can vote on their favorite idea for the next challenge, and the one with the most votes at the end of the week is the challenge for the next month. You then just need to go and shoot an image for that challenge and post it to the monthly object channel with some details of how you captured it. And each month there will be a community pick decided by popular vote and Nico's pick decided by me. I'll then share the winners here on YouTube and on my social media accounts. And the winning images will also be enshrined in the Hall of Fame channel on the Nebula Photos Discord server. Speaking of, uh, let me share the winners from the first two months that we did this. The first month we had a challenge was April, and the challenge was to take a photo of the galaxies M81 and 82, which are two beautiful galaxies in the constellation Ursa Major, and galaxy season, uh, the spring, is a good time to shoot them. The community pick went to Steve F., who put in an amazing 39 hours and 40 minutes total integration between an L Extreme filter and an L Pro filter with his Canon EOS RA camera attached to a William Optics GT81 telescope, all on a Skywatcher uh, HEQ5 mount. Congrats, Steve F. <laughs> Nico's pick went to Knackmaster, who shot this with a stock Nikon D3300 and a William Optics Redcat on an iOptron Skyguider Pro tracker, a total of five hours and 40 minutes integration. Uh, I thought Knackmaster really did a nice job getting the colors to pop, which can be so hard in a wide field shot like this. So congrats, Knackmaster. In May, we turn to star clusters. The main two types of star clusters are globular clusters like M13 and open star clusters like the Beehive Cluster. The rule for the challenge was simply that you needed a star cluster in your shot. The community pick went to Justin Dame for his shot of Messier 4 and the Ro Ofuyuki Cloud Complex, 8.3 hours from a Bortle 6 sky with an ASI 294MC, a Canon 200mm lens, and a Skywatcher EQ6R mount. Congrats, Justin. Nico's pick for May went to George G. Albrecht for his shot of the many open star clusters in the core of our Milky Way galaxy, including Messier 6 and 7. George shot over 42 minutes of two and a half second untracked exposures with a stock Canon T6i and a Canon Nifty 50 lens, all from a Bortle 7 zone with a clip-in CLS filter. He used free software like Deep Sky Stacker, Serial, and the GNU Image Manipulation Program. Congrats, George. June's challenge has been uh, the Nebula Challenge, so any kind of nebula, uh, and I'll be announcing the winners of that in a week or two, uh, right here on YouTube and also on my social media. Voting for what will be uh, in July's challenge is open now, so sign up, head over to Patreon and the Discord, and get in on the fun. I hope to see you there. Till next time, clear skies.